So we're making a siyam now. It's a very special siyam because I, this whole Gemara, I made a, a shear every day and it's on YouTube. Anyone could watch and learn. When I started, it was right after our friend uh, Rabbi Avram ben Yosef, Andrew Levine, passed away and they decided to, Lili Nishmose, to learn, to learn this Gemara. And then, in the meantime, unfortunately, I lost my Baba, Esther Rachel Basrab Shloyma Koyin, who, everything which she, and was just uh, a few days ago, was the Shloyshim. <coughs> and, uh, you know, this was, even though I wasn't really learning the Dafi Yomi, I decided to learn this Masechta. I went ahead myself, and my Baba, Allah Shalom, she was very supportive of me in learning. She made it possible, and so it's a big schus for her Neshama as well. I remember when I was a Bachar, she used to buy me the Sansino Gemaras, and I would learn the Daf Yomi. I'd maybe learn five or six Masechtas in Daf Yomi when I was still in high school. And if I would have kept on going, I would have finished Shas twice already. So maybe this year and the next year I'll finish Shas. So we'll see. I'm going. I'm, right now I'm learning ahead. But this particular Gemara we, I was learning, so it's a big schus that we learned all together. So the Gemara ends off. It's very interesting how this, the, the Gemara in the end here is talking in Yana de Yoima, that here is something that we have talking about Heksher Kalim, about Hagolis Kalim, and so forth. And so the, in, the, in the end, we discuss <coughs> another thing is Nitzah Bakarka. A lot of people get confused by this, and a lot of uh, uh, people they think that if you just put a, a knife in the ground that became treif and you leave it 24 hours, it makes it kosher. It doesn't, that's not true. Leaving 24 hours is one step, and then the next step is, you know, whatever it is, if you have to put in Hagola. But with a knife, if it's hard ground, you can stab it in the ground 10 times, and that cleans it off. But it has to be hard ground, it can't be in the same place. And people get confused about this. So in the end, the Gemara tells a story about uh, an incident that took place. It says, Amar of Huna, Breder of Yeshua, Echel Ba that you can only eat cold food with a knife that was that was made kosher by sticking in the ground. If, if it's hot food, then you have to make hagola. You have to put in boiling water. And why is that? Kihada de Mar Yehuda Bati Bar There was a story of Mar Yehuda and Bati Bar Tevi. That was Yosve Kamei de Shavar Malka. They were sitting in front of Shavar the king, who's identified generally as... Uh, King Shapur, who, who was in this, the second century of the common era, a Persian king of the Sassanid dynasty, and he was very respectful to the rabbis, and he and he was and he was knowledgeable somewhat about Judaism. Would assume if he was a Persian king, he was probably the Zoroastrian religion. So have we asked? So they brought in front of. Uh, Mar Yehuda and Bati Bartuvi was sitting with this Persian king, and they brought him the monastric to eat. Pasuk Achal. So, so the king, he wasn't Jewish. He he took a knife and cut off a piece and ate from the esrog. Pasuk Vahavle Levati Bartuvi, and then he he cut a piece, and uh, and gave the piece to this other yid who was sitting there, Bati Bartuvi. So then the king Shapur, he took the knife and, and he knew the halacha that you can put in the ground ten times. You know, you, you stab the ground and that removes whatever is not kosher. And And then after he did that, I'm assuming he washed it off because you don't want a dirty knife. <coughs> but then he cut another piece of the esrog and gave it to Mar Yehuda. So Bati Bartovi said, "Isn't that guy? He's talking to himself. Am I? I'm. I'm also a yid. <coughs> How come to Mar Yehuda, you uh, you you made a hechsher on it? You you made it. You kashered it, and to me, you just cut it. So this is a Mar Le Mar Kim Le Begavei, Mar Loi Kim Le Begavei." So he said, so the king said, this one I know about, and you I don't know about. Meaning this one, Mar Yehuda, he's, he's from. He's a chanyak. But you, I, I don't think you're so from. So Ikeda Amre, but others say that no, what, what Shabar Malka said to him is, Idkama Avat Taburta, 
He said, you remember what you did last night and you're going to be so from just because Mar Yehuda's here? So um, I'm not going to get into whatever it was that he did the night before, but that's how, that's how it ends. So Hadron Allah HaSech is a part of Uslika Lemasech is the Zara. Hadron Allah HaSech is the Zara. Hadron Allah Datun Allah HaSech is the Zara. Datun Allah Lenis <laughs> Shana <laughs> Lamid <laughs> <laughs>